Right, the six trigonometric functions. We got sine of theta, cosine of theta, uh, tangent of theta, and then you have their evil cousins, uh, cosecant of theta, secant of theta, and cotangent of theta. These, uh, their evil cousins are reciprocals of the originals, the OGs. And if you were doing number two right here, uh, we're missing a side. You need to have all three sides in order for you to solve or find the values of trigonometric functions. Um, now, th these triangles aren't necessarily in the unit circle, so you might get different values than what you guys might have seen in the unit circle. So, let's see, it's uh, 5 squared uh, plus x squared equals 13 squared. Do you guys know what 5 squared is? Oh yeah, it's 25. Then you have x squared, and that equals 13 squared, which is 169. If we subtract 25 from 169, what do you get? What do you get, my stews? 144? Do you guys know what the square root of 144 is? 12. It is 12. So this has to equal, actually I shouldn't square that. This has to equal 12. So now we can do our sine. What is sine of this theta? Opposite over hypotenuse. It is 5 over 13. What is a cosine of this theta? Uh, it's going to be 12 because it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 12 divided by 13. Tangent would be, uh, remember how it's rise over run? You know, tangent is like the same as slope. So it's opposite over adjacent. So we have 5 over 12. And then for the, their evil cousins, you just have to flip them. So it's 13 over 5, 13 over 12, and 12 over 5.